Uh, Ali Moreno joins us. Ali, I've been ignoring you for a while. I promise <coughs> you that wasn't my fault. We'll blame producer Mike. Uh, looking at the fact that obviously you had two Premier League teams and two La Liga sides as well, is it fair to say that's where we're at? They're the first and second best leagues in the world and everyone else is playing catch-up? It would seem to be the logical assumption and I think the other way that you can look at this and Alessandro just alluded to it, if you're a big time player, where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? And usually that elite level talent is going either to the best teams in the Premier League or the best teams in Spain. Uh, it, they're not choosing to go to Italy, they're not choosing to go to Bundesliga, they're not choosing to go in other places. So it seems like if indeed the best talent is telling us, you know what, we prefer to go to the Premier League, we prefer to go to La Liga, I think it says a lot as to what the perspective of those players is and what they think is going to be the biggest platform for them to be able to succeed. Mario, it's oh, uh, Son, go ahead. No, oh, I thought someone was going to say anyway. Uh, I'm hearing things. Uh, Mario, you look at it, and what's interesting, though, as much as you look at the power of the Premier League and the money that they have and where they are marketing-wise maybe ahead of others, you take Manchester City and Liverpool out of that league, like even your boys, they're not tearing up trees. There isn't that big a gap if you take those top two out, but, of course, that's a big if. Yeah, of course, but you know the financial reasons. We just have to be honest. I mean, you guys talked about it already. The financial reason of the movement, what what uh, England has now, is just the advantage. And I think when you look at countries, I come from, of course, from Holland. That's the only country where we can we have to uh, always create our own talents to be able to compete with the likes of what we just mentioned and talked about. So I think the only way for you to to compete and 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 stay alive in these situations like that. It has to be because you have to keep some of your homegrown talents in your country. And the only way to do that is you have to either afford, afford something or give them something that keeps them there. And I think then when you go to England, look how many English players don't want to go abroad. There's really a small number of English players eh, that go to another country. Like even when I came there, some of the guys were like, it was just different mindset. French League, I played one year in France. I walk into the dressing room and the players ask me, why are you here? And I looked at them and I go, why are you here? I want to play football. They go, no, but we all want to be in England. How long did it took me to play in France? One year. I wanted to go straight back to the Premier League. And I did. But that's what I'm saying. So that's why life is different. You know, everybody wants to be in England. And there's a reason because of that. Because that league is very competitive. Let's, even if we get the financial side, also look at the competitive level of it. And I think that is what, like, uh, what Ali said, you know, in Spain, yeah, of course. Real Madrid, Barcelona, who doesn't want to play for them? In Italy? Yeah, if you call the top boys, like now you see Inter going and Milan going at it. Yeah, but there is more you have to do. Keep your homegrown talents at home and make them want to stay home. And they can. the countries that can't do that is the ones that are having it very difficult. Why are you here, Mario? That's what Robbo hears everywhere in life, wherever he goes. Uh, Robbo, <laughs> looking at this, it's, it, it's about the Premier League, isn't it? Well, it's about the Premier League, but I go back to Ali's point that he made a little while ago. The reason that Italy aren't producing good players, their youth system isn't good enough anymore. I do a lot of youth team football. And the two countries that are still dominating you, or three countries dominate, France do very well at youth level. England are producing players now, and so is Spain. But Italy isn't producing players anymore. Their youth sides don't do particularly well. They don't seem to develop until they get to 20. So there's a, where's one big problem? You've got to start developing your youth players to make them top world-class world players. And at the moment, Italy aren't doing that. Spain are, and maybe England's beginning to do it, and France has done it, but France then lose their players to the Premier League. Uh, just to wrap this up, uh, let's see what old Del Piero's former teammate and friend has been saying about how they could change things in the Scudetto, saying the Serie A format should change. For example, there would be more suspense and unpredictability by introducing playoffs. It would be an extraordinary event which would attract millions of fans. However, new things are scary and in the end, nothing happens. He wasn't saying this when you're winning eight, nine in a row, Ali. <laughs> Because, because now he's fourth in the table, he can say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do you like this idea? I mean, uh, I'm really conservative in the way that uh, the league is going on, to be honest, in Europe. I really like the format that is now. Playoff, still an amazing format. I, I don't, don't get me wrong, but, you know, 
the tradition and become a, a, a list for the league that you are playing in this way is very romantic. It's very cool from my point of view. Uh, plus, you have a relegation, so you, you have different things going on. This year, I mean, the the the, 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 the run for, for Scudetto was amazing. Till mm. two weeks ago, uh, um, even Napoli was in, were involved. So uh, it was great. Uh, so <laughs> I, I don't I don't believe that much in that one. We have already the Champions League that is an amazing term of emotions, and it's mm. special because of that. So you need to a little bit on balance from my point of view. Playoffs, Stevie. I tell you what, I guess he hasn't been talking to his mate Bonucci. Because a couple of weeks ago when Italy got knocked out, he didn't like the playoff format. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I guess the two of them are no talking. Yeah, that's no. it. You know, the playoffs, absolutely. You look at MLS, it's yeah. all about MLS Cup. Right. And so you end up with a situation... You've got two teams recently. The first one was LAFC, what, three years ago, four years ago, who were shoulders, head and shoulders above everybody else. They were absolutely, no question, by far the best side in MLS. But they don't, they don't win MLS Cup, so nobody even remembers. Yeah. You've got the refs from last year, same, same situation. From, from the start of the league to the end, they dominated it, easily the best side. But in the end, nobody even remembers them. It's just about a cup competition. So you do, is that what you want? You turn the league into a cup competition? Right. No, not for me. Hey, Ali, you won all your medals in cup competitions in the playoffs. <laughs> uh, I can tell you that I would have won even more medals oh. had there been no playoffs. <laughs> So, <laughs> this, I, I, my team's won four supporter shields, so I, I'm just telling you, that's a factual information. What I can say is, and, and just, uh, again, talking about what just Stevie just mentioned there, is that you lessen and diminish the importance of the regular season and of each and every one of those games. So, those games don't mean nearly as much, and over the course of 38 games, it would be in Serie A, since you have 20 teams, you have to, you're going to have to play a regular season of 38 matches. Those games are not going to mean a whole lot individually because in the end what you want to be is part of the dance you want to get into the playoffs so that you have the same opportunity to win as the team who for six seven months was the best team in the league and yet they enter a playoff competition having again the same opportunity to win as the other team who's limping into the playoffs that doesn't seem right i don't like it i don't i don't think you want to lessen and diminish the importance of regular season matches you do not want to take away from the competition leave it as is mario you've lived in america for long enough you must love this idea <laughs> no no i i, I want it just straightforward the way it is you understand if you don't make it you're out that's my philosophy. Just that's the way I grew up. I don't need too much playoffs. Yeah, the, the league below us. I always said, okay, they can have it, but the ones that I played in, no, I never liked it. So I will never support no the too much playoff stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.